and welcome to National Science Week by QB Mag Online. My name's Sue and I'm the Education Officer. So we're going to bring you five episodes of ocean science experiments that are easy and you can do them at home or at school with pretty basic materials. So today we're going to look at the layers of the ocean and make our own ocean in a bottle. We're going to look at the density of salt water and also how the temperatures help drive the currents in our ocean. So how deep is the ocean anyway? Well, it depends where you are. If you're in Bass Strait, somewhere between 50 and 60 metres. If you're in the Tasman Sea, between Australia and New Zealand, somewhere, some parts are more than 5,000 metres deep. And the Mariana Trench, which is the deepest part of our oceans in the whole, on the whole planet, is more than 11,000 metres deep. So think 11 kilometres deep, and that is further from the surface to the bottom of the trench than it is from the sea level to the top of Mount Everest. So pretty deep. What we're going to need today to make our own ocean layers in a jar is some glucose syrup or corn syrup with some blue food colouring in it. We've got some dishwashing liquid with food colouring in it, water with food colouring in it, vegetable oil, some rubbing alcohol, a jar to make our layers, a funnel and a pipette. So let's watch this in fast forward. Firstly, we'll make the trench zone which is more than 6,000 metres deep. For this, we're using glucose syrup. The next zone is the abyss zone. At four to 6,000 metres deep, it is near freezing and no light makes it down this far. Here, we're using dishwashing liquid with food colouring. The next zone is the midnight zone. This zone extends from 1,000 to 4,000 metres deep and most animals are red or black as this allows them to appear invisible in the darkness. Here we're using water with a couple of drops of food colouring. Now we're getting up into the lighter part of the ocean. The twilight zone spans 200 to 1,000 metres in depth and we'll demonstrate it with the vegetable oil. The top layer of the ocean, the one we swim in, is called the sunlight zone. This spans 0 to 200 metres deep and has the most visible light and is the warmest. For this layer, we're using rubbing alcohol. In the ocean, the top layers are warmer as the sun can penetrate and warm the water. Different animals live in different layers. Plants can only grow in the sunlight layer. Animals in the lower layers are adapted to high pressure and darkness. The world's oceans store much more heat than the land and are important in keeping our planet cool. So you might wonder why the ocean in a jar works. So the rubbing alcohol, which is sitting on the top as our sunlight layer, is less dense than the layer below it and that's less dense than the layer below that. So the ones with the least density are at the top, highest density at the bottom. But what is density? So density is defined as mass divided by volume. But if you think about it, if we had a cup of the rubbing alcohol and we weighed it, it would weigh less than a cup of the syrup down the bottom. Now, the thing about density of the ocean, density of the ocean is affected by a couple of different things. How much salt is in a particular part of the ocean? and also the temperature. Now we're going to check in an experiment today about the density of fresh water versus salt water. So what I've got here is some warm water, two cups, lots of salt, a spoon and two eggs. So I'm going to pour some warm water into both cups. And now I'm going to put as much salt into wa the water as it can take. So basically I'm trying to make a saturated solution. So put the salt in until the water can't dissolve any more salt. So let's go some more. And we'll even go a bit more. The thing is, if there's too much for the solution, it'll just sit on the bottom anyway.
Now, let's see what happens when we pop an egg in the fresh water. Do you think it's going to float or going to sink? Let's see. So that sinks because the egg is more dense than the fresh water. What about the salty water? Let's have a look. Can you see that the egg is floating? Okay, so clearly this is more salty than the ocean. But salt is a really important part of what makes um, some of the water in the ocean more dense than others. And we're gonna look at how that drives the currents in the next experiment. So we've looked at how salt water is more dense than fresh water. And as we said, something that's more dense is going to move down below the liquid that is less dense. Now I wanna look at how the warmth of a liquid can help drive the currents. Now, the top of the ocean is gonna be warmer because the sunlight can get in further. So the experiment now, we're gonna use some vegetable oil, some herbs, I've got thyme today, a spoon. I've got a little oven proof container on top of two cups. I've got a candle and some matches. Now, you're gonna need an adult probably to help you with this as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop the oil into the container like so. We're going to mix in some of those lovely herbs. The herbs are just going to show us where the oil's moving. So we'll mix those in like so. And now I'm going to light the candle and pop it underneath. And we'll see what happens when we start getting warmer areas in the ocean. So here, the oil is warmed by the candle. It becomes less dense and rises to the top. As this continues to happen, cooler oil is drawn in along the bottom of the container and heated. Currents on the surface of the ocean are driven mainly by wind. Deep ocean currents, however, are driven mainly by the density of water. As water moves towards cooler areas like Antarctica, the water cools and some forms into ice. Ice doesn't contain salt, so the salt is left behind, making the water even saltier and more dense. Cooler water is also more dense than warm water. This cold, salty, dense water sinks and warmer water takes its place just like the outside of the oil experiment. So thanks for joining us for this first episode of Ocean Science Experiments. In our next episode, we're going to explore experiments about how animals can survive in the ocean. We hope to see you then. Bye.